Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your old streams from Twitch to YouTube. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So this video is brought to you by me. Today, I'm going to be sponsoring my own video at my new merch line. This is going to be the first t-shirt I'm going to be launching for the channel. It's a very nice quality print that you can get from Teespring. Everything is linked right below the video here and all videos on my channel. It comes in a number of different colors. You can get it in a hoodie, different women's style t-shirts, stickers. It'll definitely support the channel if you can check it out and I'd really appreciate it. Let's jump right into the video. So I will mention for this method, we're not going to have to re-download anything and upload directly to YouTube. We're going to be connecting both of our Twitch and YouTube together. So we're going to be able to automatically export and transfer over our streams. So the first thing you're going to be doing is of course coming to Twitch and we're going to be making sure you're logged into your account. From this point, we're going to be clicking on your profile on the top right and we're going to be coming to the settings option right here. And from here, we're going to be looking for the connections tab up here at the top. Click this open again and here we can see all current connections with our Twitch. What we're going to be doing is looking for the YouTube connection right here, which I already have connected. And what you're going to have to do here is find the YouTube section, click connect, and then we're going to be logging into the YouTube account that you want to actually transfer your Twitch streams to. So as you can see, I'm already connected here and disconnect will show up once you're fully connected. So once your YouTube is connected, we're going to be coming to our settings and we're going to be exporting our streams. To find our past streams, we simply need to click on our profile again on the top right. And we're going to be coming to the video producer option right here. Once this is open, we'll see all previous and past broadcasts that we made from our stream. We'll see when we actually stream them and different information here as well. Now, just in case you've streamed recently and your streams do not show up here, it's possible you don't have your settings enabled to actually have your streams collected. To do this, what we need to do is come to our preferences here on the left, come to our channel option, and you're going to be looking for the store past broadcast right here. Make sure this is enabled and streams will be automatically saved for up to 14 days and 60 for partners, Twitch Turbo and Prime users. So if you have any of the rest of these things, these will also be enabled. So you need to make sure this is enabled for your past broadcast to be saved. Once you have this and you have your past broadcast, Broadcasts here to transfer or move any of your past broadcasts. All you need to do is click and select the broadcast you would like to move. We can simply click the export option right here. Click this open and we'll even be able to fill out some extra information here for YouTube, including the YouTube description. The YouTube tags. You'll then get to choose the visibility from public or private, and you will even have the option to split your YouTube video into 15 minute segments. Now you will need to check this if you don't have longer than 15 minute videos enabled on your channel. I do have a previous video where I show you how to do this. I will leave a card on screen so you can check that out if you would like to enable more than 15 minutes. In this case, I already have this, so I will not be checking this. However, if you don't, you can simply check it and have your videos go over in 15 minute segments. From this point, you need to click start export and you will not get any other pop-up or any sort of indicator here. So from this point, it can take some time for your stream to actually be sent across. So from this point, we just have to be patient and actually wait for it to work. So if we come to our YouTube page right here, you can see my currently uploaded videos and you can see my new video here has just been added the VR stream that I sent over from Twitch. You will also receive an email once this is live. So just keep that in mind. You don't actually have to wait around for this. It may take some time and depending on the length of your stream, it can take anywhere from 10, 15 minutes to a couple of hours. So you will have to be patient here. Anyway, guys, it's that easy to transfer your old broadcast from Twitch. Twitch to YouTube without actually having to re-download in the easiest way. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.